Hello students, today we will learn multiplication by 10, 20, 30, 100, 200, 300, so on, and 1000, 2000, 3000, so on. Means whenever we have to multiply with these round of numbers, then how we will multiply that we will learn today. What if we multiply 1 by 10? The answer is 10. And what if we multiply 2 by 10? 2 tens are is 20. 7 into 10, 7 tens are 70 and <coughs> in same way if there are 3 into 20, it's 3 twos are 6 and 60, 4 into 30 is equals to 34 is 120. What do you notice in these sums, beta? See, here are zeros, here answers are also zeros. Means, when we multiply any number by 1, na, then we get 10. But when we multiply any number by 10, the all digits are same of this number, only one zero will be added to our first number. Like here, 1 into 10, 1 and 1 zero is added. 2 into 10, 2 and 1 zero is added. Then 7 into 10 is 7 and 1 0 is added. So, the easy way to multiply by 10 is whatever number there is, we will write and put 1 0 there. And if we multiply by 20, then what? 0 will be there. And the remaining numbers, we will multiply by each other. The 0 will be put there and both the numbers will be multiplied together and the product will be written here. 0 will be always put on 1's number beta here. 0 is on 1's number, no? So, we will write 0 here and 3 2's are 6. See here also 0 is there and 3 4's are 12. In this way, we can solve, solve the multiplication by 10, 20, 30 and so on. We will see some more. 5 into 70. See, 0 and 5 7's are 35. Okay. What if here is also 0? Like 10 into 20. Then what we will do? The both zeros will be there and the remaining numbers will be multiplied by each other. So 2 ones are is 2. See? 30 into 50. So 2 zeros and 3 fives are 15. Right? 40 into 60, 2 zeros and 4 6 are 24. Isn't it very easy? What if we multiply by hundreds? See, what if we multiply the same numbers by hundreds? See, everywhere I will increase 1 0. And we will get their answer like 0 and 0 and 1 1's one are 1. Double 0 and 2 1's are 2. Double 0, 7 1's are 7. Double 0, 3 2's are 6. Here are also 2 zeros. 3 4's are or 4 3's are both are 12. Double zeros and 5 7's are 35. Double zeros. And one more zero and one twos are two. Or we can also do one, two, three zeros and only this will be remaining and two ones are two. Okay? One, two, three zeros and five threes are fifteen. One, two, three zeros and four six are twenty-four. In this way, we can easily multiply. And if there are also zeros, we will include the zeros in that and then multiply. Now what if we multiply by 1000? What if we multiply same numbers by increasing one more zero? Now so I think you have an idea, no? Are 1, 0, 0, 0 and 2 ones are 2, 0, 1's are 
0, 0, 0, 7 ones are 7, 3 zeros, 3 twos are 6, 3 zeros and 4 threes are 12, 3 zeros and 5 sevens are 35, 3 zeros, 4 zeros actually and 2 ones are 2. Now 4 zeros and 3 fives are 15. Again 4 zeros and 4 six are 24. In this way we can multiply by 10, 20, 30, 70, 80, 90, 100, 500, 900 and 1200, 800 whatever we want the zeros number I mean round off numbers we can multiply in this easy way.